tremendously. It's hard. I mean, what year was that? 2010. 2010. Mm-hmm. Compared to 1995. Mm-hmm. Man, and so you you left, and niggas was barely they t- they was using technologies. Mm-hmm. Everything. They, 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 was, they, they didn't even cell phones. They didn't even have cell phones. The Blackberry good. was the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and when you came home, the Blackberry. Was yeah, good. that was a popular thing. Yeah, because you didn't have none of that when you left. No, it was so you know the was trans- it big phones? Was it them big phones? No, yeah, they had the big, the big phones. gray yeah. ones. Yeah, the that's big about gray it. Ones. Yeah, see, so, but the transformation was 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 crazy. You know why? Because when you when you start, like I had like I had college trades. I had electrical, culinary arts, uh, and I had did plumbing. Then I had did uh, computer too, right? That my college trade. Got my GED, went to college, everything, right? So I'm educating myself, reading all the business books, right? Get home, you thinking like, it ain't gonna be nothing because I got all this knowledge. Yeah. I'm gonna jump right in. Nigga, I'm finna start doing. It's not like that. Nah, I know it's not. It's not like that. It's the same degree that you get when you in prison, the same type of degree they get when they people out here yeah they same instructors and everything college okay i would leave college but i'm sitting there like man i'm watching it and and i tell anybody this bro you're gonna go through the changes i went through them you know what i'm saying even with because when i got out you know what i'm saying i got a, i got a you know what i'm saying female i'm messing with you know what i'm saying she held held me down for a nice little scratch right okay but you got to realize something she don't know what it's like to be with somebody like me. I'm not. I'm. I'm not normal. My actions is not gonna be normal due to the fact I've been gone for so long. So therefore, therefore I sit back and I look at it right, and I'm like, I've been gone 18 years. Mm-hmm. So just think about. Just think about that. I've been gone for 18 years. She have never messed with a guy that's been gone this long. That long. So I don't know how to, I don't know how to be a man. So give me an example to, of a situation that you said that because you were gone that long and having a female now, what would be so different? Man, if just it, give me an example. Just being affectionate. Affectionate. Yeah, that's definitely a big deal. Being affectionate. I mean, you got to realize that. The, I'm just being real. I'm thinking about pounding. Mm-hmm. No, you got to know how to rub feet and rub shoulders and rub arms and soles. You got to yeah, know how to. You don't know nothing you gotta, about it. But I don't know nothing about all of that. He left at 15. I'm mm-hmm. thinking all we got to do. Do what we when do. When we left, like I'm being real, you know, at that time, man, you finna pound. We going to pound, 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 Okay, that's how we do it when you're young. You pow, 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 pow. Mm-hmm. So you gotta realize now, guess what? Pow, 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 pow. Even when we were locked up, had a couple females, you gotta hit you up and do what? Do it quick. And then you gotta hit yeah. you up, you up behind your business and and dip out. Mm-hmm. So I'm coming home. I'm with that same mentality. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta think like, yeah. okay. You how to, long you have to adjust. Is that gonna go with a female that's not only you doing that, but it's good for a month. Yeah, it might be good for a month for her. Then it, and then now it's like, okay, enough is enough now. Now if we know it. And she ain't try to teach you or tell you or nothing. She, I'm like, what can she say? <laughs> because she don't want to be little to you. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She don't want to be little to you. So what you got to do is you just got to pick up. You got to. And you told her that you were in prison and all of that sort of stuff. No, she, she, stayed she, down. Down oh, she stayed down with you yeah, the whole she, time. Yeah. She stayed down okay, for a long a little time. Oh, yeah, okay. like she knew you know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay, because like, you have a lot of guys who don't be trying to tell females because some females will try to use it against them. Yeah, but you know, she stayed down. That's then you got to not only that you got to you got to remember I'm getting out and. I remember she used to say this. Why do you 
when we driving, why do you keep the wonder down? Man, I like the fresh air. <laughs> no disrespect, but you don't even like the fresh no, air now. No, I'm just saying if 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 you've been through, it, it's a thing where you couldn't go outside because you was in a certain unit. You want to stand in the rain. You ain't standing in the rain in a, almost a year. It's the prison air. It's not like the free world. <laughs> it's I, it's crazy what I'm saying that, right. but I used to be like, man, that prison air ain't like the free world, air, man. The freeway when you drive, man, I remember I got in the car when I came home and I just drove the freeway. What about when you come home and you and you've been around all these people all the time and you didn't have that privacy? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? That's a whole thing too. You you always was with around somebody. All somebody time. They could come access you anytime they wanted to. You couldn't go nowhere and do nothing by yourself. You was always around somebody. How okay, how difficult was it to adjust to the part where when you're in there, people telling you everything what to do. When you're out here, you have to make your own decisions on what to do. How does how is that? That's that's a problem too. You know why? Hey, y'all ever? I mean, y'all probably ain't never noticed this, but you ever when somebody ever been locked up for so long, and they even go to like some get something to eat, you know if they always tell if they, the, whoever they with, just give me anything. They don't want to deal with it. Just give me anything. You see what I'm saying? You've been so used to getting what they give you. What they give you. Right? Just give me. So that that's another problem. You don't know what you so like. You don't I don't even know Dewberry. what to it's eat. So, I don't know what to, you know? It's so deep. You even, you have to change the way you eat fast. You, you eat gotta, fast. Yeah, yeah. You got to change the way you, you eat. fast. And then I'm going to tell you another thing <laughs> that, 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 that my girl you get at me about. Heat that guy down on going to fool up, man. Heat it up. But I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm so used to eating food that ain't hot. You see Is what I'm that saying? why you love yours piping hot now? Um, no, that's different situations. But yeah. th but the thing is, man, I I I always I, I never heard the story, but I knew I, I listened to a couple of y'all episodes with uh Bishop yeah. the Eli. Mm -hmm. Is that him? Yeah. That was a good episode. I like yeah, that episode yeah, too. I like that. But because yeah, he talked about his transformation and he did. Mm -hmm. How many years did he do? 40? He did like 38? 30 years I think. Was it 38 or 30? 30. I think it's 30. 30. Mhm. Mm um in total in total you did like what? 28? 28. 28. I did 18 years flat. I did 10 years free. Mhm. Yeah, I'm okay. on papers and everything. I did everything. Yeah, yeah. So what made you not go back? What made you not get back, get in trouble again? What because when you come back out, we've always talked about yeah, this, but he's older now people, too. No, though. but people, but people I'm talking to, people knew who you were, and when you come out, and they gonna come to you and try to offer you, man, you know, it I happened. got this. The, how it comes happened. you didn't go back? It happened because I came home with a different mindset. I got an opportunity to hug my mom and dad. You did, yeah. When I, I came home, I hugged my mom and daddy, right? Lucky for you because a lot yes. of people lost their mom and dad exactly. while they were gone. They lost them. Mm -hmm. And I seen guys that, hey, man, yeah. now nah, I'm good. I'm all right. I'm chill. I'm good. I was, I put myself away for a minute before I even came out and really started communicating with, with people, people in the hood. I put myself up. Cause I was on a mission. My nephew was at this electrical company. I started working before the new parkland that's been that, that's built now. Mm -hmm. I worked at parkland when it was straight dirt. Mm. Okay. We ran all the electrical for parkland mm -hmm. when it was all dirt. The big panel. I worked right there. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When they finished that job, you know what got me was when they finished that job. And they told me, uh, you know, they, I had to, you had to go back and go through it. But my background, because mm -hmm. I probably working at Parkland Hospital now, having in with the electrical. But whenever you went for a hospital, they got to do a thorough background, background check. Background check. And when they found out. They found, so what happened was the dude was telling me like, man, don't worry about that, I got you. I'm going to make sure you, so I'm like, all right, bet. So go ahead and go through with it. Man. Came back like, man, ain't nothing we can do. Boom, that was, that was my first, that was my first knockdown. Now that, mm -hmm. that hurt? That was my first Did it hurt? knock. Yeah, that hurt. You gotta realize I'm I'm fresh out. I'm doing electrical work. 
I'm making like twenty five dollars an hour. Killing it. Come on, man. I'm talking about, and all I'm doing is running. Man, I'm running watches. Man, I'm talking about. <laughs> every week we getting a check. Come on, man. I'm talking about like, yeah. And it's and legal. And now they finna tell me I'm finna work at the Parkland Hospital, and they told me how they how we're gonna be doing it. All I was gonna be doing is making sure checking the making sure that the uh, everything was right. If some break down inside the main thing, we'll just go in. So I'm like, oh man, this is it, man. Ooh. So to to get that, that disappointment, kinda, that hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So now I'm going back to man. What I'm finna do, bro? Other jobs talking about ten dollars an hour. I went from making twenty five dollars an hour to you telling me ten dollars an hour. How long did that go on for before you actually got a stable job? Man, I I'm when I when I did when when I left her, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I left her, uh, I had to make some happen. I said, man, I'm finna, man, I gotta do hit something. Hit them streets. Say so hit them streets. I again. gotta do something, right? So. I said, man, what I'm gonna do? I said, man, I'm not selling no crack. Uh uh-uh, uh, I can't do that. You so weed. So, bam, I said, nah, I'm finna mess y'all up. Uh, and we ain't even talk about this, but Charleston, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he know, I used to always tell him not to say nothing. So, boss talk, y'all getting the, we getting the exclusive. <laughs> y'all getting the exclusive. I said, man, I know what I'm finna do. Charleston went to Houston. Had a little, this little old boom. I said, nigga, I'm finna start pimping. Mm. Oh, yeah, you oh, you put your PVP stick out. I said, man. Get a fur coat? Charles, I'm finna start pimping. Now, nah, so I sit there, I'm like, <laughs> so Charles, I'm like, man, man, you better. I said, shh. So, next thing you know, I still remember. This Super Bowl time, mm-hmm. she went to Houston and called. And said, hey, we ready, you know what I'm saying? We finna come back. I was with Charleston. And then Charleston, we rolled down there and picked up. Oh, she got a big bag. Oh, man. Hey, Charleston, man. This boy, I talking about a look. I said, ooh, man. I said, oh, it's on. We driving back. Charleston almost had a heart attack <laughs> when we were driving back. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Like a little, like you serious, like a heart attack. Like a heart attack. We had to literally, we was laughing, but he was panicking. So he had to pull over and jump out the car. <laughs> and he go to the hospital. So I had to, man, get in the car. We had to drive him to the hospital. He had to go to the hospital. Wow. We in, the, in the middle of nowhere. He told me he was panicking. He, was, he had like a panic, panic attack. attack. So... We had to get him. He, they let him go. We get in the car. We, what are you panicking for? I still don't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> because I love this all dude. that money I love this dude, man. I don't know, man. No, no, no. That ain't it. He, he, what are you panicking nigga for? Nigga just gonna do it, man. man that nigga, I said, man. So that was the transformation. We went back. Went all the way to the house. I'm like, nah, we went for work. So how long did you pimp for? We went to Fort Worth. I'm, I'm finna mess you. We went to Fort Worth, right? And, uh... I say, Charles, man, we got. I gotta find a club to put in. He say, man, take her to the, these rooms over here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you niggas is hell. So, bam, I did it. So I'm like, man, I right, we gonna do it. So I went over there, I did it, put it in there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, next day, now at this time, I'm in a relationship, right? Okay, with the same chick. No, this is another okay. chick. I'm in a relationship. Now, with her, I'm telling her. Like man, I got a weed house in Fort Worth. I gotta go. I gotta go uh, drop the weed off at this time and pick the weed up at this time. The money and stuff up at this mm-hmm. time, right? She like, okay, that's a bit. So at the whole time, I'm going to get her, taking her to work. I gotta go pick her up and drop off. I know, but I'm in a relationship, right? And in my mind, I still man, man, I wish Charles was here. Though. I still remember I'm sitting there, right? We getting man, we getting some money. I'm talking about Charles, man, I'm talking about money. <laughs> so I'm like, damn. I say, Charles, man, this shit ain't right, bro. <laughs> I said, man, this shit ain't right. I'm doing, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was just him and his cousin, Dante. 
That nigga say, man, you tripping. Man, you tripping, man. That's a hoe, man. She's supposed to give you that money, man. I said, man, this shit ain't right, bro. I said, man, this shit ain't right, man. I, I said, man, this shit ain't right, bro. I said, karma gonna come and get me, bro. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, man. Man, nigga, like, man, you tripping, bro. So, bam. I kept going with it. But every time I came home, I kind of feel guilty. But at that time, the girl I was with, she was a, a purse girl. So whenever she be like. Start tripping, you go get her a purse. I bought, she go get a brand new purse. Oh, to so get a brand new purse. Everything good. Yeah. So now we done moved to this big old house. Man, pimping good, man. Pimping. And she ain't asking you where all this money coming from to buy all this yeah. stuff? Yeah. I told her I had a house. I, I told her I had a couple of houses out there in Fort Worth. <laughs> yeah. She thought I was a trap boy. She thought I was a dope boy. But I'm telling her, like, nah, you know, we, so we went, when we went, ended up getting that house, oh, man, yeah. So now my mindset is I got to leave this alone. Because this, I, at the end of the day, if it crash on me, I know it. I, I mean, I got the feeling. Man, I still, I, my boy Charles, I said, man, I'm through, bro. And he's like, man, you, man. I said, shit, I'm through with this shit. I, I don't give a damn. I said, man, I'm going to go pick up. I picked up. And you I, only had one girl. I had one. Wow, you making that money. But I had probably one of the baddest things out there in Fort Worth. I ain't going to even lie to you. So I wish Charleston was here right now. When you picked up, what would you do with her? Man, she worked at Rick's, right? She used to have a white guy. The white guy was a person, the nigga was rich. So his, I never bought nothing for her. Never, I never bought nothing. He'd take a shopping, her done. He, I never, I never spent a dollar. Every dollar she made she gave it came to, to me. I didn't have to spend no money on her. Cause he spent all the money on her. And she gonna, I'm talking every single day, she, he never let her leave that club with no less than $500. Okay. This, she got bad. Oh man, I wish Charleston with her. Man, I wish my boy with her, bro. I, I, I really wanna understand how you and Charleston met. Hold, okay. I was gonna get to that. We met, we, we, I, we met in the TYC. We was, we, we oh, both. Oh, y'all met in so the all that, TYC. So all that time, yeah, you we going through everybody. all of that. Yeah, that's how you've known him from uh, that long. Yeah, we were fifteen when we met. You we know were. what? This brings up some good stuff for and me you got right back, here. How did you get back in contact? Because you were gone a long time. When I time. came home, I saw Charles in that visitation. When he came to see his brother on Beto. Okay. But Charles was already out here. We were still connected because of my dudes, which is Monk Patrick Weatherall. That's who. Uh, uh, Charleston was hanging with every day. Mm. Yeah. Before he went to the Fed. You niggas go way back. Yeah, but that's why I tell you about it. This is not no, we just start hanging. No. So when I got out, Charleston came to my house and barbecued. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. So this, you got to really how like this. That yeah. is dope, man. So yeah. let me ask you a question. And I, because I, I got to get in the game related, not gang related. But hold on, but he didn't I, tell I, us how long you were doing that for. Oh, okay, it was, not, it was me, not over. Yeah. So, so what I did was. At that time, I had. Uh, how did you stop and not get caught? This is what I did. This is what I did. I came in, walked in there. I said, "Hey, boom!" I gave her like seven thousand mm dollars. -hmm. I said, "You got the game. You got a good trick. You know what to do." Man, I'm finished. She like for real. I said, "Man, I'm through. I'm through." I said, "I can't do it no more." Wow. You know what I'm saying? Putting your pimp stick down. I left, went to the house, and I just. Did you get a job? Well, I had, I had, like I said, I had a nice amount of money stacked right. up. So I was like, I was living off that. You know what I'm saying? What about Charleston? What did he say? You wasn't hanging with him no more. Well, I used to still holler at Charleston because I had stopped going to Fort Worth now because now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm through with that. You know what I'm saying? Charleston thought I was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That nigga like, man, 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 you tripping, you crazy, bro. Man, you, man, I don't, what's wrong? I said, man, I just I just had a feeling, bro. I said, man, You I didn't want to go back because you knew it was coming close to that. The conscience, my conscience kept eating me, eating me, eating me, eating me. And one Your day. Your mama was still alive at this time? Yeah, but mama was still here. Still here now, yeah. okay. So at, so one day, I had went to, to the room to get her, and I seen a lot of laws. That scared you. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> I said, man. I, so now they say, no, nah, man, they, they, they doing a, a, a prostitution pickup and they doing this and doing that. And didn't get her. 
But I'm like, oh, Lord. I said, oh, yeah, man. This, but then she never get got because she didn't do that. She, she wasn't. Out on the street. She no. Was, it was she, different. Yeah. She, she was the just, high class. She just had one. Like, she had just one white guy that. Oh, that's it? One? I'm surprised she has. I mean, when she goes to the club, she going right. to get her, her money. Right. But I'm saying this one white guy going to make sure that she okay. need nothing. She'll go to Florida. She'll go to wherever with him. What, what year was this? Man, that was in 2012. Like, like 2013. 13. Like 2000, 2012, 2013. Then I stopped. And that was I, a black girl. She was, yeah, she was, yeah, mixed. she was mixed. She was mixed. Yeah. So oh. after all of this now, when did it, when did you have to get a job? Because the money well, ran, money dwindled down. I need to understand I how you met Charleston. Okay. I, I'm you not said TYC. Yeah, I'm talking about but when he <laughs> met him, how, how this, this see, relationship done went on all this time. See, when I met Charleston, right, we was game banging. We were both rolling. Now, at the time when I got there, see, Charleston was rolling 60. See, my so partner. You, how old were you? All 15. Y'all the same age. Yeah. So, so what happened was, at that time, we got stuff. Zim. You know what I'm saying? We got, so when I got there, it's like, shit, man, it's this bitch gang related. So now I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We out there doing our thing. So bam, when I got put on the set, now we both represent the same set. You see what I'm saying? We both rolling 60s. Now, Charleston used to be a goddamn fool. See, people don't really know that. Like He, he is now? Man, that nigga used to fight every guy. That, that nigga, man, Charleston is a smart gangster then. Because he was, back then, he was already in college. He was, that nigga was, that nigga was smart. I know. See what I'm saying? But he was a damn fool. <laughs> I'm telling you, that little, that little nigga, this, he was this dog gonna be. It didn't take that much for him to get, to go off. Man, right. So now, we go through, like, that's how we met, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That was my nigga, like, she, you she. <laughs> nigga, no, you fucking my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, <laughs> we gonna rock this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, that is funny. That's my nigga. I'm gonna tell you, the reason I keep messing with him about that is because he said something on my show when we was in Vegas. He was like, we was out together, me and Dubair. I'm like, Dubair don't care nothing about you, nigga. You talking about Dubair, but I didn't know how deep y'all yeah. was. I'm just talking like in my mind. I'm like, how the hell Dubair? Because he, uh, people in the comment, they didn't, they, he, he didn't even uh, stand up. But I'm like, dude, well, they just co-hosting together. You know, I don't know the whole story at this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but in, it, when Charleston said it, I understood. Where he was like, man, my Dubair was there with me. He ain't come way up here to do nothing to me like that. You know. Yeah. And and I was like, dang, man. So. How was I listened to that too? Because somebody man, sent me listen, that interview. It, it was this here was supposed to be a peaceful meeting, wasn't listen, it? Listen, man. I, before I pulled up, I was on the, what's name a thing with Mob Jane there, right? Yeah, yeah. This was been a peaceful up, meeting, man. Man, listen, man. You came down here. We supposed to come down here to talk about some 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 grown men shit. You see what I'm saying? It got. If you listen to the interview, I can tell when it started going. Yeah. It, it, Cause I started trying to change the questions up. I, I seen that. To, I heard I'm it. Trying to, right? So when Charles would get Charles, oh man, I'm you man. know Charles. Yeah. That's just how he so is. Here you go, I love right? this dude, man. So here you go. Now, my James trying to hold his composure. Man, so he jumped up. Yeah, if you look at, we gonna we gotta release the, the real video. Yeah, nigga, like, I'm I'm like this. <laughs> Why you like that, dude? I ain't see no threat. I know a threat when I see a threat. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you get it. You got it. You you got it. It's 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 instincts. Look at their eyes. Look at the eyeballs. You see what I'm saying? Charleston stood there and he said what he said. This is Charleston. He said what he said. Mm -hmm. So now. Some people going to automatically look at it any kind of way because they don't like Charleston, right? Correct. But my thing is this here, and I tell everybody over and over and over again, man, I'm from the old law. When you get nose to nose with somebody and you don't swing, it never was in your heart to swing. Mm -hmm. mm. You That's see what I'm saying? That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. So when you jump up, now nah, you didn't jump up as no... To, to, to physically attack him, 
you jumped up because you wanted him to know, like, bro, quit talking to me like this. Yeah. On this camera. Yeah. You, you cannot talk, Charleston. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why. You shouldn't even try. So mm -hmm. that's why I tell a person why I didn't never, nigga, no, nigga, you think, nigga, I've been knowing Charleston my whole life, you hear me? Yeah. I, Down I didn't, here my I didn't whole know that. Life. That's what was funny to me. Nah, this is I a history. Know. We got a history together. But I, I knew y'all was tight because me and him talking. He was like, man, he made hype. And I knew, like, yeah. if he made hype, I mean, if he made up that name, these mm -hmm. niggas really need it. Yeah. You know? Because he told me, hey, man, look, this is what we're going to do. I said, man, I've been working on something. I showed it to him, right? He was like, bro, that's what we going to do. We're going to do hype. We're going to start talking and speaking. And I'm like, cool. How did how was that part? Like to see him go I, from the the part where he started going to the that's city why halls. I respect him. You know why? Because bro, listen, I was with Charleston, Fort Worth Telegram. We did a story, right? I did not know you was with Charleston all this time, bro. That's yeah, crazy. The crazy see that part about it. Yeah, he seen I it. I told Charleston, bro, no disrespect. I gotta get some money, man. He kept going down. You there. can do whatever. Man, Charleston did never, ever, ever stop. He having them kids. He I, watched the Charles, I was watching him. I said, man, Charleston out there. I said, man, Charleston going crazy out there. <laughs> <laughs> what was his cause when you first seen it? So you seen never it? saw when this vision. You, yeah. you couldn't understand no. his vision. That's no. really what it was. No, I didn't. I'm, 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 I'm honest. How lo what, what, did, what did it? I wonder what how happened? it started. Hold on. What happened? that made you change your mind, that you were able to see that vision? On the phone call. With who? Charles. What did he say? I called him, hey, what's up with it? Hey, what's up with it, my boy? Woo -woo -woo. I'm like, man, what's going on, man? You know what I'm saying? So he telling me, I say, man, what is going on, bro? You is going crazy. <laughs> and he said, nah, man, I'm putting this Mackin down. See, listen. When we was sitting there going, damn, they, see how when we were doing everything, doing this here? He said, nah, nigga, I had to learn the game, nigga. I went to learn the T-shirt game, nigga, I done learned the game now. Nigga, listen, the car's going that way, right? If you go this way, everybody in their car's gonna look at who? You. Okay, then. Then I'ma serve you with some game. You see what I'm saying? So now once he, that nigga Charles is smart. So now he making y'all follow me cause he, now, and now when you look at him, he got something to say. And he know how to clean up whatever he fuck up. Mm -hmm. I seen him do he it. Do. You get what I'm saying? See nobody, see people look at certain things, I'm like nah, you gotta look at the art that Charleston doing it in. Charleston making people look this big. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When they trying to look this big. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He doing it to him. And that was hurting them the most. You see what I'm saying? It hurts. Man, it hurts when somebody played them psychological mind game with you <laughs> and you said that. And that's why I always told Has man. Has he ever tried to do that on you? And you no, he ain't. Y'all friends, nah, they be doing see, that no, stuff. No, no. When I be listening to Charles, I talk to him, we talk, you know what I'm saying, woo woo, and we just kick it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's my partner. I, like, what's up, baby? Hey, we kick it. Charles done turned my game to a whole nother thing because, man, I'm, I couldn't do this at first. I couldn't do this. I already know. I was like, bro, I can't, no, I can't do that, man. He was like, bro, you can get paid for talking. I said, man, I tried that, Charles. Remember we went to the school? We went to the juvenile? <laughs> we did that shit. I said, Charles, bro, I tried that already, bro. I said, man, nah, bro. He said, listen, bro, trust me, man. Now I get the chance to see the vision. Say, man, this world, if you outside picking up kings right now, somebody gonna ride by you and say, look at that bone. Mm -hmm. They gonna hate on you, right? If you got a Bentley outside <laughs> and drive down the same street, somebody gonna say, man, that nigga, look at that nigga, man, that ain't that nigga car. They gonna hate on you, right? Mm -hmm. No matter what you do in this world, somebody, Job is to what? Hate on, Hate on you. Okay then, right? So if you looking for everybody to like you, that means that you trying to please too many people, mm -hmm. right? So therefore, not only is Charleston doing what he doing, he really helping the kids. When them kids came from them juvenile system, that's, that's, we gonna be real. When them kids came from that juvenile system, Charleston was right there. Mm -hmm. 
Real talk. Mm -hmm. And you I know, know that. When Charleston was in stop six, you hear me? I, I had it he on the screen. He was barbecuing yeah. with them little kids and doing all that for them kids, bro. When nobody else there, I wasn't even there. Buying shoes? Nah, Charleston was buying them kids' shoes, man. Charleston was getting them, them kids. People can run their mind for all they want to. But ain't now person that's running their mind can say that they really in a community doing something to help out these kids. Mm -mm. So I always tell a person, if you talk about Charleston, you need to tell me what you doing. Because Charleston real. beating y'all with the mouthpiece, he ain't never hurt down one of y'all. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He don't even think about hurting down one of y'all. That ain't even in his mindset. He just know he cannot talk y'all. He talking to y'all typing. Damn fool, how you going to beat a nigga like that? <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to go back to the Mob James things one more time because he said the next day, uh, evidently somebody else had flew down and they was coming to try to, he thought they were just setting him up. And, and and well, they straightened it up because it really wasn't what he thought it was going was at first. Exactly. So, I mean, how difficult that is, is that for, like, you on the show, is that the first show to ever go 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 south like that? Yeah, I mean, that's the only show we had to go south like that's that. That's what I'm thinking. That was the only one. But I kind of knew it was anyway. I'm going to be it, honest it, with you. It seemed like it was leading because up to that. The reason why I knew that is because you got to realize, my uh, dad from California. Yeah. So, Charleston having conversation or words with individuals from California. California want to know a lot of things, Right? About why Charles is saying what he's saying. So you got Mob James on there. So Mob James is trying to, hey man, we I wanna speak for California. Cause we wanna know like why you saying what you saying, right or wrong. Right. See what I'm saying? Charleston felt that. So you I seen how the conversation has started going. But this is what I'm gonna say. Even about the Nipsey situation, right? I respect Nipsey. Nipsey was a real live leader. Yeah, I met him. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nipsey had a vision to get that killing and game banging shit away from him. Mm -hmm. That was Nipsey vision, right? You know how many people went against Nipsey? When Nipsey was alive, you know how many people that were that went against Nipsey. Oh, it's, it, it was a lot of people. wasn't even not even not just went against him, but a lot of people wasn't interested. When I took my my wife and and when we was going over there, nobody wasn't going over there like exactly. that. I'm telling you, I, when we went, how many people was in there? It wasn't a lot of people. Not maybe not two, many. three. He was living at this time. So you gotta realize we met that way, that because way. my family we do a store here, exactly. and my kids grew up in this store. His yeah. family they do a store. So we, I, when we met in, in Vegas, we clicked, mm. and I went. When I say we clicked, we talked, and I was interested in him because of what I do, mm -hmm. and it's the same kind of as what he had. When we met there, we seen his father there, we seen his brother. Me and Black Sam took pictures and hung out, and that way, man. Yeah, cause we nah. both doing the same thing. Exactly. I'm being real. This is how you, I met them. But get what you just said though. You a real man that I, was going to Cali yeah. to meet up with somebody I that go was to each, on a mission. I go to that one, but I, I can name more. I, exactly, I go to bro. all of the black-owned exactly, businesses exactly. and brothers exactly. trying to do stuff. Exactly. So I think, with that being said, I think that's the thing that kind of draw me to y'all. It's just the realness. Because when I met Charleston, it was like I looked into what he doing, and I see the real in it. Mm -hmm. I don't look at the, I look at what's happening like when he come bring them kids to me or if I looked at you know what I mean mm -hmm. like I'm like damn this dude he really trying to help these kids and I see what he had done before and I look at all the plaques that they done gave him and all the stuff that the city done recognized him for and I say damn this is something that's unusual because mm -hmm. you don't see nobody going for the community like that and I'm don't. not trying you know what I'm saying I'm just being real you don't you don't see that that's not normal that's why I like the Nipsey yeah. I like the Nip because of what he was really doing, bro. Nip, yeah, he, he grew up in the country game banging, right? But Nip had a vision. 
Well, some people didn't have that vision. They wanted to keep Nip down. I got to say this, though. When when Charleston say, man, F Nipsey, what what do you think? What do you get from that? I hollered at him. I'm like, bro, what you doing? And when he told me, like, bro, it's, it's, I already know it's what the he told character. Me. I know it. Is. I know it. That's what he, I knew exactly what he's doing. I already seen it. Niggas is falling for Nip. He called his, his real name. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, is it Aubrey? Yeah, Aubrey, yeah, but Nip real name. He would say, that's what he, he says. Like, that's who I fight for, him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, I'm sitting there like, damn, okay, cool. But now motherfucker be like, bro, you let him say something about Nipsey. <laughs> Nigga, listen to what you just said. <laughs> you said that he says something about Nipsey. Like, I suppose the ground charts by his neck strangle him or do whatever, right? Because he said something about Nipsey, right? And that's what I tell a person, bro, in this real life. Say, man, Nipsey family living good. They done left, come, they done left California, homie. They gone. You know why they left California? Because of the betrayal that went on against Nipsey. They left California, homie. Let's keep it 1,000. Mm -hmm. How many people did you know? We gonna keep it 1,000. Gonna keep it 1,000, boss talk. Every time somebody die, why do people always do this here? Man, that was my homie, nigga, that was my nigga, man. I love that nigga, man. But nigga, you just tried to do something. Remember what nigga you remember he gave you that pack and you ran out with it, nigga? But when he died, it's man, that's my nigga. That's what when I look at what's going on, nigga, I'm hoping they can open your eyes up and say, man, say, man. Had that same energy with your next homie while he alive. That's real. I told people the same thing when Kobe died. It was like they they was niggas went cr my co-host he ain't here today I got another co-host mm -hmm. and he's he, Charleston like him a lot his name Money Moses and yeah, Money Moses gonna say him. whatever man you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah I see and then, when 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 Kobe died the first as soon as it happened instant time we just had put this together we cut it off for a year because of of COVID and Kobe. all that but when it when Kobe first died we were sitting right in here we had put this table together me and him. And he said, <laughs> man, up that nigga, man, that nigga ball hog, man. That nigga ain't all that, you know. Right in the midst of, he a Real. ball hog. He was not, I don't like that nigga. And my partner from uh, up in New York called, he was living, man, why you with that bust, man? Why you, it, it was the same effect like a Charleston would have. Cause it yeah, was so, yeah, it, that's yeah. why, and when they seen each other and met, mm -hmm. they clicked. I'm like, yeah. you niggas talk and say the same crazy stuff, so y'all should be yeah. good <laughs> together. I mean, that's but, what I'm saying. But like, at any rate, yeah. the, but the thing was, when I spoke on it, I was spoke, speaking to the fact of, I didn't know Kobe. And I didn't watch basketball like that. But right. I'm telling you, what I, what I said was, this instance, I hate to see what just happened to him and his daughter. This should make families go home and hug hard. That's what it's supposed hug to do, homie. This should make families go home and love their loved ones more because you, 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 a, a wife should love a husband stronger. A, a, a father should hold his daughter stronger because this is what that should affect because you don't know him. If you don't know him, how can you act this way on something you don't know? Yeah, it hurt, but we got people that's dying every day. Every day, homie. And, and that was the part every right day. there that you know, God. Think about it from this perspective. God could have took him away because uh, he didn't want him to see something that was going on with Kobe. Come on, bro. We don't know. We're not. We, we're not God. You know. You know what. You know what. Get to me, man. A lot. I respect. Like I said, I love. You know. what I'm saying Nip. Whatever. The, but say, Nipsey passed away, right? And he was all across the world. Everybody was like. Man, they was mourning Nip, right? And I'm like, cool. Who gonna take up what Nip was doing? Who gonna step up? Nip's store got shut down, homie. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's stop playing this. Uh, no, no, Nip's store got shut down. Who stood up to say, no, we gonna keep this alive? We really gonna do this, right? This is what I'll be saying about this gang shit. This is what I'll be saying about this gang shit. Shit fabricated. 
I get it. You see what I'm saying? But in life, everything that is created, especially if it's created for division, that's the devil. The devil. Who who is, you know, we talk about, oh, we did this gang. We created this. We created... That's the devil working through all of us to cause division among our people. Facts. So when you hear Charleston... Whether it's our people or against black and white, against countries to countries. Facts. That's him to keep... Imagine if this world was united the way in which we should be as black people, as blacks forgiven, whites, whites. You know, if all of us just come together, imagine what kind of world this would be. Exactly. Well, well, when Charleston speak, and I say Charleston because he'd he be everywhere talking, saying mm-hmm. everything about the gangs. He was really alluding to the fact of, man, I'm not with that. Now, you know, and I know he was, he grew up and we didn't understand that. To me, yeah. I could say from my point of view, I don't understand how the Crips started in, in California. Mm-hmm. I didn't give a dang about it. it. I wore blue, nigga, that's what I did. I did it because my school cut blue. I told the story the other right. day. I really wasn't concerned about it. But then when it became a thing, oh yeah, I'm with the blue boys. And I didn't really know the exactly. history of it. I'm being real. Exactly. I did with the blue nigga because my school was blue. And uh, nigga, I like the color. And people like I'm it because real. it's cool. Oh, they seem so, like they cool. No, so no, no. Snoop Nim came out Some and enforced it even more because it seemed like Dre Nim was winning, nigga. You, you know, know what got <laughs> me? What just, you know what got me on that? What? Colors. Colors was. I just talked to. Who did I talk to about that? Uh, uh, you know um, Melvin Farm. Melvin Farmer. Yeah, yeah. That dang. He said he hadn't watched. Four in the midst colors. of this. In the midst of this, while all this going on about the gang, and I don't know if I should even say it, but it, it, I don't care. Charleston puts a phone call in for me to California, have all these dudes to pull up and interview, you know, with with, with boss talk while I'm in Cali. Mm-hmm. Why are they talking about he against the California, whatever? This yeah. nigga is, is 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 making moves for me while this is going on. Exactly. <laughs> this is wild. The internet is crazy, dog. Super crazy. It's crazy, and it leads it 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 it, it gives a, a a false perception mm-hmm. because in the midst of what's going on, there's some realness in this thing. Where Charleston can pick up the phone and call and have somebody to meet a nigga from Texas to do something with a nigga from Texas while all this so called going on, and it's it's niggas that they saying mad at him. Hmm. Think about that for a minute. But this has been going on from no. But you got to think about it. Even before social media, back in the days, you know, me like example, me growing up in Jamaica, you had you always had like DJ. This DJ is against this DJ because it keeps the money going. Because the people following this one, because yeah, this is the one who's for the streets. This one is for the girls. So it's either beanie or bounty. You either you know, it's like in anything that you do. Like I remember when Twilight came out, you either this guy or this guy. You know what I mean? Okay. So it to me. It's always been going on even before social media is amped up more now because of social, social media. media exactly. But as I got older, as a kid, you know, you either chose one because you're a kid. As you get older, you're like, I wonder if these two people are even friends. They're probably <laughs> friends and they're just doing this because that's how they make their money. Exactly. Because you can only do this for so long. And as you get older as well, because they're getting older as well. Now they're friends. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But they st- people still be like, oh, no, it's either him or him. For what? Exactly. So do you, do you, I mean, this is a, this is a wild time because I really, like I said, since I met Charleston and, and you and all that, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 10 toes down. You, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, real life. like this, cause it, cause it's helping something. Real life. Real life. I, I had stopped doing what I felt I should have been doing a long time ago, really, like consistently when I first met you. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about 20, we've been together almost 20 years. Life, man. So and yeah. when I, when I, when when I met Charleston, I told her, and I've met other organizations too, but Charleston's was so direct and real on helping the individuals that we said we. And I got a big. She know she know me like a book. I have to do it, else I'm not gonna respect it. If mm-hmm. you say it and don't do it, I don't respect it. Yeah. And That's everything like, that man. this dude done brought bro. to me with these kids and the things that he called me by, he like, yeah, man, we gonna do this. It's an action item. It's not a. It's not, it's not a, it's like, let's do it. Because you know what's most important? Because this world again, and I'm going to always say the devil, have ways of getting us so busy and caught up in real life where sometimes we put other things on the back burner, even the kids and so forth, because mm-hmm. you get so busy with working 
that you're like, okay, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that because in your heart, in your mind, you want to do it. But you get so busy doing this that you put yeah. certain things on the back burner. But with him, he always keep it on no the matter forefront, what he do. no matter what. No matter what I he do. Because you say he, you thought he was crazy the way he was running out there talking to the city and dealing yeah, with all man, that. for real. That I had to feel. be a wild time for you because you seen the transition. I saw it. I saw the transition. I saw, I, listen. Cause I heard it was the time he was going to the city council, I mean, to the meetings, like man, continuously. I'm talking about going, he was I seen him. I seen him in there and they kicked him out. The mayor and them kicked yes. him out. What was that all about? You you man, knew him during that time. But at that time, man, Charles you had him pulled up on him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like this nigga going in. Yeah, you know, I was doing, you know. But I'm sitting there like I'm watching. I'm like, damn, man, look at Charles. Boy, he. But I'm saying, though, I'm like, who got the, the, the balls, balls. <laughs> to do this? That's what I said. I I'm not playing. I, ain't, I said no. the same ain't thing. Ain't nobody else done it, especially black. They haven't done it. Ain't no black person done what he done. No. Stand up against them to go to the Republicans and go to man Charleston done it all. And he and he speak with with he know how to deal with it. And yes. the funny thing, ain't nobody yes. black that's, that's a, done that that man, that's, don't that's not running for something. You know what I mean? Not that's running a for gift, mayor, bro. not running for because a lot of people who will stand up to try they and have do an certain, ulterior motive. they have that ulterior motive that they're running for something down the line, and they know that they're doing this to get the people's votes and people's. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's not even doing that. He's not. Why do you but think he do what he does? I was just about to say, what is his end game? And I probably have to ask him that. No, but, I but, but they're best friends. I want to know if you that's know his end game. What is his he, end game? He giving y'all the front game. That's his end game. It's the kids. That's it. That's his end game. He done told you he that He don't directly. want to run for politics? No. No, he Hell can't. No. Because yeah. the reason why it's like this here. You can't say certain things. Mm -hmm. You can't say certain things, and I can't. Charleston said what the, you want to say. Because he came out. Doing it. Doing it. See what I'm saying? That's just the way he is. He's saying the thing that we, in reality, some of the stuff he be saying, we want to say, he, but we be like, oh, man, I can't, boy, you, but you hitting it on the nail, though. He hitting it on the <laughs> nail. Yeah, but, yeah. Cause it, I'm going to tell you something. Something he recently did, it was something Dallas Global recently posted, was mm. a, a, something that he said in reference to Jay Prince and them guys. But he was just saying, like, in, in my from my point of view, like Jay Prince not doing anything in Dallas. Like he don't have nothing. To, he, yeah. he do it in Houston, but in Dallas, Dallas pretty much just kind of on his own is what, what what he was alluding to. Am I right? You are listen. I speak on that. I'm just yeah. That that's what we I felt. respect. Definitely respect Jay Prince. Jay Prince because he was man. Jay Prince did it man, and got Jay away Prince with it. Started, yeah, and he started no, hip hop. Really, he did it. And he got away well, he with it. He helped start in the South. That's what I keep telling people. He did it and got away with it. Mm -hmm. He learned how to play chess and he played it to the fullest. He did it and got away with it. You got to respect any black man that did that. You salute. Definitely respect. Dallas, Texas. Ray Charles Fields. Ray Charles. We seen the Curtis Blows. Curtis Blows. Boy, you, you name it. You seen, seen the Jamaicans. The no. Jamaicans. Yeah, they did yeah. that thing. Why you, you gotta put them in there? You, you, you talking, yeah. uh, you talking you about You gotta uh, give Jamaicans their props. What's that nigga name, man, over man, there? He, he, we got him out of here. Man, we had so many Jamaicans, what man. Boy, we had so many South Jamaica. Dallas, it was yeah. a bunch of them. See, see, see. So we had, what I'm saying is Dallas. Ray Charles, uh, Mexican Rose. Ain't you, nobody. I can name them. <laughs> yeah, but ain't nobody ran this mug. Nobody. You can't name them. Everybody just had their sections of what they were doing, but nobody ran this. I don't care who you are, what you say, nigga. These are facts, right? Dallas is not built like that. We not built like that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We nowadays people go different places. Man, listen, I'm from West Dallas. At that time, during the Jamaican era. We never had a Jamaican to come to West Dallas. They was in South Dallas. Never. No, West Dallas different. I can tell you that. So, they different over there. It's like, why you? Man, we had a hole. It was a hole, man. And that hole 
Man, you couldn't come in that hole. You could you couldn't come inside that hole. <laughs> that was a hole. You see what I'm saying? Dallas is not like nowhere else, man. Dallas is Dallas, man. And I keep telling people that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, no disrespect to nobody. But, man, ain't nobody running Dallas. We had too many big dogs. Don't get it twisted. You still got big dogs that's quiet in Dallas. Which is a smart thing to be. Yeah. See, people get the wrong misinterpretation because of the entertainment. That's right. See, the entertainment will make you bigger than who you really is. Don't get that twisted, too. You got, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Social media. But I always remember that. The entertainment, they got to make somebody big for the blacks. They got to because you this is a hip-hop culture, right? That's right. Say so they'll come and get you right now and make you to be the queen of Dallas, Texas, right? And guess what? If Jimmy Iveen co-signed you, guess what? You will be the queen of dollars. If you walk outside, everybody going to run up to you. Mm-hmm. They made you that. But the smart thing to do you is when they saying? do that, they, well keep, they keep their eyes off of everybody else. Exactly. I know what you're talking about. So that's about. why I keep telling people, like, we just living in the world world, the entertainment, doing what they doing. People see these rappers with all their jewelry. Nigga, that shit fabricated. Niggas, do you know that the person that's gave him that check, what they doing, they controlling, they give you a run, they give you some money. Hey, I need you to look good. Make sure you get them jewelry on that necklace, boy. Yeah, yeah boy, I see you, boy. You got to run. You might have a five-year run. On that six-year, you try to figure out where your money at. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause of the game ain't been served correctly. You not my op. You not my op. You got a deal. You got a deal. Say, man, they just gave you some money. They just gave you some money. Bro, let's come together and let's come put this money together so therefore we can buy some of this land out here. We can go to the country and buy some of this land out here, bro. When we going to start thinking like that? It, it, it's not. You it's get what I'm saying? So therefore, it's like, who is doing the conversation? I don't. I mean, I love to see the young dude with money. I love it, but I always tell him, man, everybody had money. Your what money, are you do with it? Your money, you might have a million dollars. If you paying $100,000 a month, guess how fast that million dollars going to go? It's going to be going fast. You give it, I'm telling you. If you know how to, let you know how to replenish. You know, all of this is because of education. And when I say education, a lot of times they don't educate our kids um, and proper finances. Well, it's not up school. to them to educate our kids. It's up to us. So that's why. But I, you say it's up to us, but some of these parents had not been educated well, they, they, as they, well. They, well, then that's so why. So how are they able to educate their kids? All I know is the people who do have educations, a lot of times their kids grow up and end up leaving or, or, or fit, being failures because they give them too much. You see? But that's that. what I want to fight for. Like, no disrespect, bro. I get on, okay, YouTube channel going. Okay, we got it going. I want to talk yeah. about that because because you've been working on that a lot lately. Yeah. I've been proud of you. I've been looking but at so, at your moves you're making. I'm like, now he's working. The, I, re- I, the reason for that, I'm gonna give you the reason for that, right? When I when I start the podcast, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not a camera guy. I'm, I'm not one on one. We gonna go there, right? So when we used to do our podcast, I if you go back and listen to the first couple, I used to let Charles do all the talk. Mm-hmm. I might say a couple of words, right? So I'm like, damn, this show is built up for Charleston. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Charleston just giving me an assist, right? Mm-hmm. People want to hear Charleston. They want to see Charleston. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, that's good. I'm not the kind of person that's finna say, no, nah, nigga, I'm bigger than Charleston. Nigga, nigga this is by me. Mm-hmm. Never do that. Sit back. And you watched Ed the playing field. Hey, now it's time. Charles, look, we finna go ahead and get my YouTube going. So now when we do game related, not game related, if your YouTube jumping and my YouTube jumping, we both got fan base. So when we come together, guess what? Now here come the money gonna come mm-hmm. easy, right? That's right. Let's use my let's use let's use this, right? Mm-hmm. You're supposed to. Okay. Ain't nobody came to me. The only person that came to me, hit me up, was Brother Ben X. Man, I always gotta shout him out. Brother Ben X, boy. Say. He hit me up. 
hey man, you see you working with them kids? Uh, you need some? I said, well, we got we got to grab a couple of those here with them. And he sent me a thousand dollars. Sent me a thousand dollars. He seemed like a good dude. So now he telling me a different platform like Facebook, how we can make the money off Facebook, right? So here I am. I'm like, okay, I get you, brother Ben. I get him. I really do. Now, okay. Now, people starting to see what's going on. I don't care about the negativity. You can't care about the haters. You can't. I know one thing. If we get it where we getting it at, I have the building. I have them kids in there. They'll be learning code. They'll be learning how to do trade. They'll be learning finances that we just talked about that they don't do. These kids not learning stock markets. They ain't learning how to, they don't understand how what a credit invest. is. Right. What is credit? They don't understand it. Right? So we are, that's like telling a kid, that's like you telling your, your son. You see your son outside, right? He fighting. He get beat up. He come in. How can you get mad if you ain't never taught him how to fight? You can. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, let me ask you, how hard would it be to, I know we're doing this, or your plan is to do this for the kids and, and provide this avenue for them. How hard would it be to get this implemented in the school system? Where all the schools, whether in, I would love it to start in middle school. You know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Teaching about credit. The two things, just credit and investing, stocks mm -hmm. and all of that. Start them off in, in middle school learning this. How hard would that to be, get that into a school curriculum? I don't think it'll be hard. You know what I think? We're not celebrities, right? Let's get, we're not celebrities. Mm -hmm. But if we had some, if we had some celebrities. Some Jay-Z's and. And they come in and say, Hey, I'm finna come to LG Pinkston. And what I wanna do is I wanna install this 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 here. They not gonna tell them no. They're not gonna tell them no. If I go in there, they're gonna look at me crazy. They're gonna look at you crazy. They're gonna look at you crazy, right? Because I think it's a money game too. Yes, there's it's celebrities. It's a money game. Yes, there's celebrities, but guess what? How much money are they donating to that school? Exactly. How, many, how much money are they it's, donating to that so system? About to, it goes back to it the money. It goes right back to the money. Exactly. But, but do you, do, do, okay, so <clears throat> we know that the school not gonna do it. So, so how do we put a plan of action together to start it the same way you were just saying? You know, because you got to start it where you, you know, you might can't change the world, but you can change your The only world. thing I can mm -hmm. think of. You see what I'm saying? The only yeah. thing so you, what, you, what you're doing and what you're saying as far as the action items, that's why, like I said, when I, I keep saying Charleston, I don't look at the, I look at what the person is doing that can affect the area that they can affect, man. You know what I think? I you think understand idea? what I'm saying? We can do theory. We can talk about things uh, far out, but what can you do tomorrow? And I'm thinking about right? reaching the masses Facts. because you're talking about having a building and having the kids come here to learn that. And I love, cause it has to start somewhere, yes. but I'm also thinking about reaching the masses of exactly. kids that need to know this information, whether you offer after school program um, online, cause everything nowadays with the pandemic show you that you can easily get virtual classes easily. Thanks. So something that, you know, whether you want to do it free or you want them to, you know, pay for say they start off doing, the first half free or the first quarter free or whatever. Yeah. And then the rest of it would have to be, we can get assistance whether from the government or from whatever, if you can't afford this class, you know exactly. what I mean? But then be able to offer that for I always go, I'm going right back to middle school because these kids are learning a lot at a young age that is not educational. Mm -hmm. Why can't they learn that at a young age? You know what I mean? Who fight for it? Uh, Who fight for it? Again, nobody. No. Just think about what we say. Who fighting for that? Who even, who even care about that? Correct. Who even care if those kids in middle school even got the correct books? And the reason, and and that brings up a valid point because when you really look at it, when you start to break it down, you could go to Lean on Me the movie, and when mm -hmm. the mom was mad because her son, you know, he couldn't go back to the school, she didn't give a damn about them kids. None of the only thing she cared about was what she wanted. 
Mm. You remember that? Yeah. When Mr. Exactly. Clark, yeah, exactly. she got him locked yeah. up. Exactly. She cared about what her agenda was. And I think that's what we deal with in a lot of the school system, a lot of terminology. That when people get their pockets fat, they worry about keeping their pockets fat and they don't care, care how whoever's affected around them. They don't. And I think they paying high salaries to a lot of people in a lot of positions. And that's all that person in that high place with a lot with in that position all he cares about is to make sure that money stay coming in the way it is right exactly so exactly well do Barry, man been an interesting conversation man we can do this uh we can do this all the time brother yeah yeah no man, i mean you know. I, I think me and you gonna do some stuff together you don't even realize it yet though but i got some ideas and stuff to be honest with you um I've been thinking about different ways to try to do something bigger. I always, we always think it. Mm -hmm. At some point, you know, we can take something and try to figure out a way to create something special. I think what you said about you doing what you doing and Charleston doing what he doing because y'all been on the platform long enough together now where mm -hmm. people do know who Dewberry is. Exactly. So it's time to break exactly. out. That's exactly. the same thing with me and my wife here. Exactly. She can do a whole different type of show right now because people are steadily seeing us grow in this market. So it's a smart thing to understand business when it comes to this uh, internet, man. Mm -hmm. How to move in this internet phase that we're in. And, and so why not take a shot at it? Got to. You man. already been consistently doing it. You got for what? To. You, how long y'all been doing that man, now? Uh, we've been doing it for a minute. A year yet? I don't. I know they done gave me some good game. Mm -hmm. I done picked up. It's been a while. It's been, it's so, been like almost a year though. That's right. So now, it, at some point, you got to start saying, "Okay, these people conditioned to hear me. Now I want to give them something isolated to me, so we can grow with the people who want to do what I'm doing." Exactly. So, so I, I respect it. I, no, I like man, it too. I love real, what you're doing, I'm man. For real, man. I, I, I watch you. Out. I see you Bro. boxing one day. Yeah, yeah, I'll be. <laughs> I saw, I saw that. You too. did too. I did. I saw that. No, I watch yeah. you, bro. I mean, yeah, I, I yeah. love you, bro. So I, I'm, I when 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 God put me with people, she know how I am. I love hard. That's why when when Charleston first came over here and we gave him that plaque, he talking about they said you were gonna kill me over here because <laughs> I gave him a plaque. I, I, we came in here, I'm totally different than anybody. Mm -hmm. We brought him over here and gave him a plaque and said thank you for what you're doing in them Facts. communities. Facts, Nobody had done Facts, that. Facts, I was the Facts, first bro. one Facts, to do yeah, that. Facts, when I brought him over here, well, Facts, I put the pictures bro. up on the Facts, thing. Facts. Everything like that, that he like did. That. And, and you can go back and watch that episode, you'll be like, matter of fact, me and Charleston said, he said, I ain't put a, he did three three videos here. Charleston has been over uh, uh, doing different stuff. Yeah, and, he always going to show love, But man. I never put the videos out. But I, I, I respect him and what we were trying to accomplish so much. And I romanticized the, the footage. I'm like, nah, nah, this is for us. Man, I, I always see him bringing people through here, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and that's respect. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, man, like, man, you, I mean, you're doing something right, bro. I try. I mean, you know. My wife, my kids, we here. We need people to really connect. Like, we really need that, right? And everybody got to play their role. I just don't like when everybody try to play a role that they don't need to be playing. Got it. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So what... What do you think about what do you think about boss talk, man? Stop playing, man. No, nah, man, this is a great how platform. You like it? I love it. Really? Like, no, nah, this is a great platform, man. Everybody to be talking about this. Y'all, nah, nah, this needs to be this, yeah. Now nah, I'm watching how you I'm watching how you getting peep different people involved. You've been checking it out. Yeah, but that's what we need. We need man, I don't wanna say I don't wanna say certain things, right? But some people in the way. Yeah. Some people in the way. They not for the culture, bro. You know what Uncle Henny told me on the phone just a week or so ago? He was like, E, when I came over there that day and I brought my wife over there, man, I wanted to show my wife that there was some people that's trying to help people just like me, trying to, you know, just actually got good hearts just trying to help yeah, somebody. Yeah, man. Because it's hard. And they don't have, we don't have that, bro. That, that, that tripped me out when he was telling me that. I'm like, well, he do got a point because we are just trying to you know, be a blessing to someone, you know? And we wear our hearts on our sleeves, so a lot of people, when they come in, they can see the genuine, mm -hmm. you know, intentions from us. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So you know who, who, five minutes in the conversation, you know a person. Really, people can tell. You, you've you been locked up. Yeah. You can <laughs> tell a person just like that if you he really, said he looking be their real eyes. with yourself, you're you gonna know. You're gonna tell. know this person lying or this person genuine. Man, I don't care what nobody say, and I say it over and over again. 
You look at a prison eyeball, man, they're going to let you know everything. They said the, the eyes is the <laughs> gateway Interest to, to the, the soul. soul. Yeah. I mean, you look at them eyes. If he look over there, you got to look over there too because I'm like, man, what's going on? I'm, I'm back there. Yeah, yeah man. They, have them t- they, have, they say they have those telltales like if you ask somebody a question and they lying, they look sort of like that. To the left. Them are some true statements. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> but no. thank you, man. We don't want to hold your day up, no, man. We man, love I you, love bro. This, man. Today was a no, man, hey, man. Hey, man, I want to say, man, that this was one of the smoothest interviews I done had, man. I, I, well, how can people get a hold of you? Hey, man, you know, I got I got the uh, my YouTube page. Yeah, up let's running, talk man. about yeah, it, man. What's the name of a YouTube page? Uh, it's, 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 it's the Anthony Dubeber Fist YouTube page, man. Quality the game, man. Hey, Quality man. Quality the game, What man. about on Instagram? Instagram, man, uh, is Money Mr. Blue, man. Man, I'm so proud to see yeah, you man. You stepping out your box. I can tell you getting out your Yeah, out, man, I'm getting out, out your comfort zone. I, yeah. Like, he, he going I out want to like this at but, first. But it's... I'm shouting you out. In a minute, I'm going to post Let me tell, you, <laughs> let me tell you, just like what we were talking about off camera before, it it comes with practice because, like, for me, it took him forever yeah, to get, to get me to do doing this. it because I hate hearing oh, my own voice. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm okay. the type of person... I love to talk. I love to talk to people, but I love to talk to people on a one-on-one basis. Oh, the people she knows. Yeah. Over here, and let's talk about life. Let's talk about everything. It's like the things that I'm asking. I love mm-hmm. to talk about stuff like that um, because I always feel like I'm here to help. Thanks. That's me. But don't Thanks. catch me in a crowd. I, you will not. I'll be the quietest person in a crowd. I won't go up in front of everybody and try to talk to people. Mm-hmm. No. So when he first said, "Let's do this," and I heard my voice, I'm like, "Oh." Like you can use that it. was my thing. I hearing my that. voice, <laughs> I hated hearing my voice because you're not used because to it. Talking like this, I can't hear myself. But when you play back and you listen, like even now, I don't play back any of our stuff. I listen to it. I, he does because he got everything. But when I be listening to the stuff I be doing, I be like, man, because at first it took me a minute to really go <laughs> because I'm like, man, I be sounding. Man, I be sounding crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. Because so now it's like, I'm like, why did I say that? Man, do I sound right? I'm oh. different. When do I, I sound, you know what I be saying? I'm like, like now, I be like, I, I killed just that nigga. Oh, I can get up now, and just <laughs> put the phone up there and look at that and be like, yeah, man, what's going on, man? I can. But you know why? Because so it take time to grow mm-hmm. into something, man. But you have graduated a lot more quicker than I have to me because then I'll do this. But there's so many times I want to go on live and just start. T- I see people on there doing it and talking, and I'm like, I'm not ready for that yet. I'm not ready for that live I- yet <laughs> to be going on. Because in my mind, let me tell you, I come up with so many great topics and just talking. Because I'm a thinker. So yeah. I could be driving on the street and something crazy happened or something happened. I'm like, ooh, I need to talk about that. That would be a good you know, conversation. Exactly. But then I just don't do it because I'm like, Nah. Me need a catch just like that. I mean, I'm just I'm I'm slowly but surely getting into it because I ain't gonna. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not <laughs> doing a good job. When I be doing it, I look. So I be looking at the comments, right? <laughs> so I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking at the comments. You need to hold that camera steady. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I be looking. Because I was trying to get a good picture of you because you have no pictures hardly on social media. That's like, right. exactly. you that picture. So I took that from a video, but in that video, every minute of the video. So I got to see. I, <laughs> that's why no, I, I said, get you a stabilizer. One yeah, of that's why I said. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to give me one of the stabilizers and I'm going to give him a look. I'm going to yes. get it set up. You got to you know, keep I'm going to become the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're doing a good job, man. You got to do good pictures. Thank you so much, man. You got to do good pictures, every, so much, do good pictures every now and again. So if somebody needs to snatch a picture for a reason, yeah, we can exactly. snatch a picture. So you man. need to do a photo shoot. I need to. Real talk. I need to. I'm just, I got you. It's that time. You know, I yes. can break, we can do nah, it. It's that time. We'll oh, figure it man, out. Boss talk, man. We like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get your photo shoot, nigga. I'll get the nigga to shoot it. You ain't got to worry about having him come man, over there. Y'all got me feeling like. Say, man, I you know a star. You a super duper star, nigga. Stop no, playing, no. man. <laughs> Say, man, we love you, bro. Listen, man, we love you, man. You, no, hey, man. man, thank you for coming on the show, man. I appreciate you too, man. Talk, man. It's I been another, another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.